Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Well, as you can see, we got another awesome device from Amy Lee for us to unbox, demonstrate, and review. Yay! Woohoo! Before I begin, if it's your birthday or was your birthday or you're going to have your birthday soon, I just want to say congratulations and happy birthday. Get out there and make it a good one. Um, we're coming up on St. Patrick's Day, so don't drink yourself too silly out there now. Additionally, we got Good Friday and Easter coming up, which is going to be the last Friday, I believe it's going to be the last Friday of this month and the last Sunday of this month, respectively. Hopefully you have a good um, Good Friday and Easter season. With that being said, we got the uh, Bat-Top wireless keyboard for iOS, Android, and Windows. Um, I don't see why you can't use this on PCs or Macs. That being said, too, we got a standby time of 60 days, a lithium, a lithium battery, 238 millimeters by 55 millimeters by 18 and a half millimeters, a scissors angle design key structure, and an operating distance of about 10 meters. And more stuff on the back. And of course it has inches on the back if you're still accustomed to inches. Of course you'll open this box up either way. There's uh, two flaps on either side. There's two flaps on the box, one on this side and one on the other side. Just open up either one, like so. Open up the two little ears. <clears throat> Pull back. There we go. It's starting to come out with a little convincing. Okay, so we um, have a the charge cord here in this little baggie. Our grand prize, which is our wireless Bluetooth keyboard. A set of instructions. And a something else from bat top oh cool it's a warranty card for the keyboard from bat top it even comes in multiple languages so that's it that's the unboxing of this bat top wireless keyboard let's um go on ahead and look at the manual and get this thing set up so these are the instructions it comes in uh, multiple languages See, multiple languages. Um, look off the English side. Um, universal portable foldable Bluetooth tablet keyboard. No, please fully charge the keyboard before use. It, it takes approximately two hours to charge an empty battery. Make sure that your keyboard is turned off. There's your charge indicator, micro USB charging port. You can either use the charging block or plug it into the computer. Um, when the Bluetooth keyboard is charging, the charging indicator will be red once fully charged. The charging indicator will turn off. To extend life of the battery between charges, turn off the Bluetooth function whenever, whenever you, you are not using it. You may also be required to turn off Bluetooth in some locations. Bluetooth function will turn off when you switch it to airplane mode. According to the instructions to pair your devices for initial use, once you have paired your tablet or phone or Mac or PC or whatever, you do not need to repeat the pairing process. The keyboard will automatically connect to the, to the device when both switches are device when both devices are switched switched on. If you use your keyboard with another device, you must repeat the pairing process. Um, turn your keyboard by turn on your Bluetooth keyboard by switching the power button from off to on. Turn off, turn on your Bluetooth um, function. This will vary between um, Android, iOS, Windows Phone, PC, Mac, etc. Um, on the Bluetooth keyboard, press and hold the Bluetooth connection button for three seconds. Then release it. The blue LED will start flashing while attempting to connect to your device. 
and on the device you click on search for device, scan, whatever and it'll take a moment to search for the keyboard once the scan result list shows up click on the name of the, the device which should be Backtop BT Keyboard once connected the dialog window will pop up please follow the instructions type and request a number on the keyboard to complete the pairing process which I'm gonna guess this is just an example there's gonna be a random number we'll get to see more of this in a moment um, connected to input device will display on the on the device when it is successfully paired and now you may use the keyboard device demonstrations or example screens caution keep away from sharp objects do not put heavy objects on the keyboard keep away from heat fire and any chemical liquids fairly self-explanatory so let's um, continue the setup okay so uh, we got this all starting with the setup here the only problem I see with this is that if you set this up evenly see it hogs up pretty much the entire status lights over here so you pr practically had to set this like just on the edge right here for everything to sit sit so you can see the lights. Granted, it still sits and all that, but it just looks a little uneven. But yeah, that's what this little door down here is for. You close it up, open it up, and then you can rest your tablet in here. Neat, huh? So with that being said, let's um, turn it on. Hold down the connect button. Then we're going to search for the devices. That search for devices. Available devices. There it is, our Bat-Top BT keyboard pairing. Type 6196, then press return or enter. See, I told you this was going to be a random code. 6, 1, 9, 6, then press enter. Sweet. And we has keyboard. Yay. Um, I'm gonna, well, let's, while this thing is, um, uh, you know, doing this, that's pretty much it. That's it for the setup of this keyboard. It's should be pretty much, you know, all good to go from here. At least I think it is. Bluetooth. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say because I didn't see. Oh, okay, yeah, it's off and on switch, the physical switch, but it don't have the power button, the power light on, though, so that could potentially be a problem, but as long as it's still connected, I can still use it, and that's great. Um, let's try going into a browser, go into Firefox. Let's go to Google. Sweet. Power on Google. Come on. Well, that's funny. It works in the, the up and down button works in the browser, but it don't want to do the uh, suggestions on Google search. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, as you can see, the, or as you can hear, rather, all the buttons, you know, are... Uh, Quiet and easy to push in and click. See, 
You don't get that clack, clack, clack ratchet from the 90s. Those old 90s big keyboards. Remember those big things and they would always make those big clanking noises? Yeah, none of that here. There's actually a control button. And it's just like on PC, you know, you hold down the control button and push A, push X, then push V, cut, copy, paste, or copy, paste. Yeah, what threw me off is that it has a command button and a control button, and I thought this would be like on Macs, where the command button... <clears throat> is used for cut copy paste but I didn't see the control button until a little later so I thought I would uh, come back and make a call out on this and uh, as a quick bonus here just to show this thing off a little bit and probably because I like y'all too <laughs> well I'm going to see how well this thing is going to connect to my Mac so we're going to go through all the steps and you'll be able to see it connect as it goes There's our backtop BT key, keyboard, rather. Begin the pairing, connecting. Got to input the code. Remember, that is a random code. Totally different from what I got on the Nexus 7 tablet. So I'm not too worried about showing this out in the open. Ooh, your keyboard cannot be identified. It will not be usable until it is identified. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side on the left side of the keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key. Well, unfortunately, there is no key on the right side of the shift key. Not from what I saw anyway. Oh, on the left side of the keyboard. Oh, that would be Z. Hmm. To the left of the shift key on the right side, that's M. Oh, never mind. It's a uh, slash and question mark. My bad. Um, keyboard has been identified. Um, we're going to go with ANSI and say done. And our Batop BT keyboard is ready to go. And just to be sure there's not going to be any more confusion or delay, Keyboard off. The Apple wireless keyboard is off. Woohoo! Perfect. It all works. Sweet. And of course, when you want to put the keyboard away, you know, it just folds up. Just like so. Nice and easy and compact. It can fit in your bag or whatever. No need to worry about busted keys or loose keys or whatever else. And as a real quick size comparison, we have the fat top keyboard versus a keyboard off of an iMac. Now, let's see which one's bigger. Okay, so iMac keyboard wins in the size category here. So, with that being said, that's pretty much it on the... Uh, demonstrations of the fat top wireless bluetooth keyboard here so let's um get to the review portion so with that being said it's review time 
let's go back over some of the stuff that I found out. And hopefully you will take this into consideration when you buy your own Backtop Pro wireless keyboard. Okay, so you know the disclaimer's always got to be said. Uh, normally I do get my products from Mpal. However, this was um, a, like a one-off, I guess. You could call it. It was um, courtesy of Amy Lee and her friend. Her friend was looking for reviewers for this keyboard. So I want to say thanks to Amy Lee and Amy's friend for allowing me to have this keyboard at a significant discount in exchange for a fair and honest review. Um, the pros, it's lightweight and mostly easy to use. The price is right. It's 30 bucks as, as of the time this video went live on YouTube using your Amazon Prime discounts. This offers compatibility with all three major mobile OSs, you, you know, like Windows Phone, iOS, and Android. Additionally, this also plays nice on, mostly nice rather, on PCs and Macs. Um, it's got a USB rechargeable battery. Thank goodness, because I can mostly put my Mac keyboard to retirement but it's battery hall get idiosyncrasies. Yay! Um, it's got a decent battery life at about 60 hours. Decent charge time. The keyboard, as you can see, is mostly based off of an iMac, which, you know, if you're gonna use an uh, Apple tablet, you know, or use it on an iMac, that's a good thing. This little stand here, this is for your phone or tablet. Um, as you can, as you can see, as I'm gonna fold this back up again, it's compact and easy to store. Woohoo! And yes, you can still use cut, copy, paste with this thing. On Macs, of course, you know, you use the command key, you know, same as always. But on PCs, I'm guessing Windows Phone 2, and especially on Androids, you'll have to use the, the control key, you know, same as always from those mostly. The cons, unfortunately, this really isn't a true Mac or PC keyboard replacement. As you can see, look what it's lacking. A complete F1 through F12 key set. And as us Mac heads know, those F1 through F12 keys actually do get used on Macs, you know, like for those that are unfamiliar or have forgotten. You know, I tell you control your brightness, volume, multimedia settings, ejecting the disc, etc. Additionally, I do find that the keyboard, because of its small size, in fact, as you saw, my iMac keyboard was bigger than this. And as you can see, I got these big hands. Which means I typically tend to fat finger a lot of keys. The most uh, common offenders are going to be like things around the 1 key or the Q key and the P key. Um, anything related to the punctuation, backspace, enter, any of those. In addition to fat fingering, I'll sometimes miss the buttons that I in wanted to intend on hitting. Like if I, like if I had a bigger keyboard like this, or even the Mac keyboard for that matter, I'd be fine. But this one's just too a little small for me because of these big hands. And furthermore, if you do set your tablet on the stand as you saw in the video, but if you set this evenly on your stand, then that means you're going to miss out on all these status lights and your on-off button. And the only way you can fix it is to put your put one edge of the, of the tablet like right on the edge, line it up perfectly on the stand so that way you can see all your status lights. With that being said, as an overall and other thoughts, I would recommend this to anyone. If you're mostly looking for a, t a keyboard for your phone or tablet, I would rate this four, about four stars. It would be 4.5 or even five stars. If like I said, if we can make this keyboard just a bit bigger, almost like the size of, a, of an iMac keyboard, and if we can in, and put a full F1 through F12 button set, as well as repositioning the status lights to where your tablet is not going to hog it up. So if bat, so to bat top, if you can take those into consideration, like when you did make a V2 of this keyboard, that'd be great. So with that being said, this has been my review of the bat top wireless keyboard. I'm Adventure Link. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video got you pumped up. And you, for your own bad top wireless keyboard and hopefully you'll make a more informed decision by watching this video when you go keyboard shopping and hopefully you do take the back top keyboard into consideration don't forget to rate subscribe and comment uh, rates and subscriptions are in the video description be sure to rate appropriately if you like it you like it and if not well 
I'm sorry. That's, I mean, we're all human. We don't have to like the same things now. But in the comment section, you know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, well wishes, prayers, etc. But no flames fighting, spam baiting, boy her comments, etc. You know, take them down to the comment section. I do try to get to each and every one of you all. It's starting to get warm outside, so make sure you stay cool, stay in the shade. Um, make sure you do still wear a light jacket as this is still kind of like ammonia weather. Um, either way, eat right, stay active. Active, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay away from those viruses, and slow down for the inclement weather, please. This has been Adventure Link signing off his review with the Wise Words of Wisdom from Eric the Car Guy, reminding everyone to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. I'll see you all next time.